de ellos seré súper brave as well. Thanks for being here. Two days in a row. Thanks for following us online. Also, because, you know, behind the organization of this international symposium, there's quite a lot of work and many people engaged. I would like to thank the communication team of ICS, the direction of X, Alejandra Lejardi. Thanks for all your support for pushing forward this international symposium. I'll be brief. In this last couple of days, we've been discussing about the experiences that are more perhaps mature and that can somehow act as lighthouses. And it is also important to underline the importance of evidence. As Anna Valangela mentioned, this is one of the major challenges ahead. All these experiences that we have in mind or that have awakened in the last couple of days or that you want to push forward. Perhaps you have matched with people from the cultural sector or the health sector, but we need to be capable to assess them. And as Christopher Bailey said, it is important to see to what extent art is healing. Art will allow us to build communities. In the last two days, not like we have implemented a health action, but we've built and strengthened our community and we've shared concerns, ideas, proposals, purposes. So as Guillem said, on behalf of the ICS as, and as the coordinator of the strategy, we want to push it forward. We have changed compared to 2019, as Christopher Bailey said. We, it's not about going back to normality, it's about transforming normality. So art in health need to respond to the new needs that we have spotted. We need to transform ourselves collectively. So from the DG for communication, we are at your disposal and the disposal of all professionals who are willing to go one step forward to think out of the box and see arts as an opportunity for the future in this health system that needs more and more community actions focused on citizens. Thank you, and I hope you have enjoyed the conference.